Hello everyone and welcome to the session of DelphiCon 2021. My name is Gleb Sitikov from Sikampanyans and our mainstream product is Tislan Component Suite, the localization solution from Bacadere Rad Studio. And today I would like to introduce you or otherwise remind you of what Tislan Component Suite is. Hopefully by the end of this video you'll see how powerful and useful it is, yet flexible and simple. First off, let's briefly discuss why the Tislang Component Suite might be of help to you. With the state of the IT industry in 2021, applications and software products have very little to no obstacle when it comes down to reaching a large, multinational customer group. Despite the beauty of this fact, some challenges arise from it. The standards of for programs keep on getting increased. Now, if your application is not cross-platform or does not support any of the additional localization, it may be seen as inferior, regardless if you operate in a B2B or B2C market. While you have been armed with tools to tackle the cross-platform issue thanks to Embarcadero, the localization issue is still up to you to solve. Of course, you might decide to address it and solve it by yourself by coding it from the ground up. However, chances are it will drastically delay your production timeline, increase complexity and maybe even room for bugs. And after all that, the solution might still prove to be incomplete. Therefore, you should consider turning your attention and trust to Tisseline Component Suite, as it has been at the front of the market for many years now, providing you with a very powerful and easy to use component to resolve your localization needs. You might be asking yourself, but what is it exactly? Tisseline Component Suite is a set of tools and components for Ad Studio that helps you to localize the user interface of your application in just three steps. First, drop the Tisseline component onto your form. Second, enter the translations you need. And third, switch them at runtime. Sounds a bit too good and easy to be true, right? No problem. Let's go through some of the practical examples so you can see for yourself. Now that we are in the IDE itself, to highlight the simplicity of use and integration, we can start with the newest tool added to Tislang Components Suite called C Internet Translator. It even has the potential to automate the localization of your software entirely. But let's see how you can use it by taking a look at the demo that comes with it. As you can see, it is just a simple form which operates in a form of a wizard where we can first set up the online translation we want to use and then to actually translate the text. Let's run it to see how it works. We can choose any out of the most popular online translation providers, for example, Google Translate or Deepl, and set up the settings that are relevant specifically for that translator. Let's go with um, Google Translate, for example. We are able to set up the API key, which is required if we want to use the Google Cloud Translate service, and if we use the free version, then it is not needed. We can also set up the translation delay in seconds, which is the time pause in between sending requests to the server, so the free translator service doesn't ban us for spamming with too many quick requests. Once we finish setting up our settings, we can translate anything we want. In the demo, it is similar to a usual translator, where we select the language to translate from and to, and then type our text. Let's say we want to translate from English to maybe German, and let's write, I don't know, hello world. Hit the either translate button, and there it is. What we just did was just a simple demonstration of using Tislang to translate input strings at runtime. However, most importantly, Tislang can use Internet Translator to translate your entire application. What does that mean for you? It means you can focus on building out the untranslated version of your application first, and then simply let Tislang do the work. It will use either of the Internet Translator services with properties you set up to translate your application at runtime. Let's take a look at how it works with a different demo this time. Now, it is just a basic form with some user interface elements on it. As you can see, we haven't provided any of the translations prior. All user interface elements are only in their initial language. We can set up the parameters for the translation process in the object inspector. For example, we can set it up to use a free version of Deepl. Now, when we run the program and choose the selected language, we can see that Tisselang translates all the user interface by itself completely in runtime. Providing multilingual support to your applications can really be that simple by just playing around with some properties in the object inspector using Tisselang. 
After exploring the newest addition to the component suit, let's see the power of the most important and pre-existing tools of Tisselang. As I said at the very beginning of the session, the first step is to place Tisselang component onto the project's form. To speed up and simplify essentially setting up the multilingual support in your source, the Tisselang component suit includes something called the translation wizard, which is available in Tisselang Expert. By the way, Tesslang Expert would be your main tool for managing translations in your projects and it is available under the Tools menu of the ID, so it's very easy to access. Translation Wizard will insert all needed components onto your forms and then configure them accordingly. And as you're about to see in the following short demonstration video, this all can be done in just a matter of few seconds. all sounds good and clear, but sometimes your code includes strings that need to be translated in the source, not just inside the components. To translate them, we use the strings in source command from Tislang Expert. This will scan the source code of the unit and display all found strings. Not all strings should be translated and therefore should be skipped. We can skip them for this round using the delete command or mark them to ignore for all future scans using the mark to ignore command. Moreover, we can add them to the permanent skipping list, so they will be included for all projects by using the exclude command. Check the next video to see how that all can be applied. After using any of the commands that we talked about, we can see the effect it had within the source code itself. Notice the presence of Tislang tags within the code. You can manage these tags manually yourself if you want any time. You might be thinking that setting up translations once you have many forms and languages might become an issue. That is not the case thanks to Sil Editor and Dictionary Manager. Let's take a look. To translate all project forms at once, it is easier to save translations to SIB or SIL file format and use the SIL editor. We can save it with the help of Tislang Expert just like shown on the screen right now. SIL editor is a free editor for translation files that you can freely redistribute to your users or your translators if you're going to use them. In conjunction with Dictionary Manager, it provides a powerful and convenient tool for editing translations. If you already have a solid translation dictionary, the translation of the whole file will require minimum effort on your behalf, just a couple of clicks. In case you don't have all the translations, you can send them all to the dictionary manager 
and then use the internet translate feature to translate them, but we won't show it today. After we finish the editing of the translations, load them back into the project source using Tislang Expert. To switch the active language, we just use the Tislang combo. Now run the application and we will see it is fully localized and this needed just several minutes of work. We have looked at some basic yet very useless in applications of Tislang component suite. Hopefully you are able to pick up on something that interested you or found something that might help you bring your applications to the next level. To wrap up this session and to summarize the benefits of using the Tislang component suite, it is important to know that you can use the Tislang component suite to develop applications for any of the support platforms by Red Studio 11 Alexandria which is, by the way, the version that we use for all the demonstrations today, all with the same functionality in just a single build. You can also switch the active language of your application at any time, even at design time, to preview the translated interface. All translations by default are built in inside the executable, so you don't need to distribute any of the additional files like databases or translation dictionaries. You can even let your end user modify and set up translations by themselves so your applications can be translated even without recompiling them. Thank you for your time going through this session. We want to reward you with something for watching this talk until the very end. You can use the promo code DELPHICON21-VIDEO to get a 20% discount on Tislang Component Suite. The promo code is one time use and is valid for one year. If you have any questions or maybe would like to learn more, you can always visit tislang.com where you'll find further documentation and reviews of the Tislang component suite. Also, feel free to reach out via email directly to me with glebsizikov at ccompanions.com or to our general support team with support at ccompanions.com. Have a great day.